The Parasite Agency by SUNY MMA I am a government agent employed to help solve a problem you likely are not even aware of. I will not reveal much of my identity for security reasons. Across the globe, there is an infestation of terrible parasites. They take control of a person's limbic system and hijack the host's emotions. The host will then, over a period of months, begin experiencing horrible mood swings while the parasite lays eggs in their body. Once this process is complete, the parasite sends the victim into a constant, uncontrollable rage. The host kills or injures many people, then themselves, so that the hatched eggs can go on to infect more people. Obviously a public safety risk. The only way for the parasites to be killed is by burning them. Unfortunately, this also kills the host. My job in this agency is to carry out the controlled burns, to kill only the hosts and minimize damage. A strange quirk of this parasite is that when confronted with fire, the host remains completely calm. I have watched people burn before and they just stand there. No screaming, no running, not even any pain. Given all of this information, you can imagine my devastation when I was informed that the latest case they tracked of the parasite was my own mother. They offered to have another agent carry out the act, but I insisted that it should be me. After all, who would know her better than her own daughter? I knew it had to be done, for the greater good. She was a goner either way. That week, I went to stay at her house. Mood swings were definitely noticeable, but she simply brushed it off as a symptom of menopause, which is a very common excuse among hosts. I tried to enjoy my last days with her as much as I could given the circumstances. She knew I worked for the government, but not much else, so she could have never predicted what I would do next. I will not give detail as to how I went about it, but needless to say, that Friday night, there was a fire in my childhood home. I had to watch as everything burned. Priceless heirlooms, family photos, and irreplaceable mementos were turned to ash in minutes. However, that was far from the worst part. I could hear my mother's screams coming from her bedroom. 